Hi again, my name is Gonçalo and we are at Dart Geckos. So I'm sorry for not uploading videos uh, so often, I'm planning uh, a lot of videos now and I will uh, try to upload them uh, more often. This video is to inform you how to collect eggs from uh, dart frogs, how to raise the tadpoles and how to take care of the froglets. So come and check! These are some Vasolini eggs that I'm going to detach them from a leaf. I'm going to use reverse osmosis water to try and pull them out I am going to, to be very careful not to break any egg So we have the eggs now, I'm going to clean them because they have some algae. I put some water, I will use a pipette to take the, this water out and then I will add some more water and uh, do it like 2-3 times to wash the eggs from the algae. I, can, I will not remove all the algae but I will try to, to take the most of it. Now I'm going to transfer the eggs to a container to keep the humidity high. Uh, I will put some water outside the petri dish and inside the petri dish so the eggs um, are in contact with, uh, with water and uh, the humidity is kept high inside the container. Then I level the container and keep it at uh, 24 degrees Celsius. We keep the tadpoles like this in small cups uh, with some uh, java moss and we normally feed them with uh, spirulina and some discos food. We use uh, the ceramicron too. We try to vary their diet. We normally start with a small amount of water, as you can see, and then when they are growing, we are we increase the the water. We use 500 milliliters of water per single tadpole. We never raise the dart frog tadpoles in community tanks. After about two months the frogs are fully developed and we need to take them out of the water and put them in a container with a bit of water and a place they can uh, climb. First I'm going to pull the debris uh, in the water out. Now I'm going to throw almost all the water out and be careful with the froglet so he will not drop in the, this big container. This is all the water we need for the new container so the frog can climb out of the water. Now I'm going to transfer the, the froglet 
to another container so he can climb out of the water and end the, the metamorphosis. I'm going to keep the moss in the, the new container and I'm going to transfer the froglet to the container. The froglet will lose the, the tail soon and start climbing the, the walls of the container and end the metamorphosis. I stop uh, feeding the, the froglets at this point. They normally will not uh, eat anymore at this phase. I use a lid with some holes so there's air in the container but the froglet can't come out of it. Then I just put it linens in this acrid so uh, the froglet can come out of the water easily. Now we just need to wait 5-7 uh, days and the frog will come out of the water and we transfer it to a terrarium for feeding purposes and growing. Thanks for watching the video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe our channel. If you have any questions please feel free to contact us and if you have any suggestions for videos we are here to help. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram and Facebook for more news.